The relentless chase of gold and the unwavering spirit of the miners who braved the Alaskan wilderness in search of fortune, together with the colorful cast of personalities, have long enthralled enthusiasts of the gold rush. As the sole surviving member of the original ensemble, Chris Doig stands out as a steadfast figure with his sicker chomping persona and unyielding tenacity, earning him a fan favorite during the course of the show's 14-season run on the Discovery Channel. The journey of Dutt from impoverished origins to gold mine Dom's journey into the mining industry was, to put it mildly, unexpected. He had grown up on a farm and honed his carpentry skills. It was during a cabin-building assignment for a member of Todd Hoffman's former crew that Don's path crossed with destiny, leading him to join forces with Parker Schnabel's team after parting ways with the Hoffman crew during season four. While the focus is usually on the main characters of the show, Chris Doet has been an essential part of the gold room at Parker Schnabel's claim, where the painstaking process of extracting gold from the earth unfolds. Reports suggest that Doet commands an impressive fee of $25,000 per episode for his contributions to Gold Rush, a testament to his invaluable role in the mining operation. However, Doet's partnership with Parker Schnabel goes beyond the confines of the Gold Rush series as a seasoned miner with a wealth of experience. In addition to receiving a big compensation, Dote is essential to the day-to-day -day operations of Schnabel's claim. Although the stated $25,000 per episode charge is significant, it is evident that Parker values Dew's proficiency and commitment turning into more rewards and incentives. These incentives highlight not just Dew's vital contributions, but also the mutual respect and success that this dynamic pair shares. However, Dew's earnings from television don't account for all of his financial achievement. A clever businessman with a wide range of passions, Doet entered the world of entrepreneurship in 2018 with the goal of diversifying his income through a number of ventures. The company, Dote Cigars, was founded with the goal of offering premium cigars that are handmade at a reasonable price. The business has grown and its products are now sold both online and in retail stores throughout several states. Tu's aptitude for entrepreneurship is broad his interests go beyond scissors, including golf equipment and even his own wine label, which he jokingly calls Hooch indeed. Chris Dew's rise from a varied professional background to a pivotal position on Gold Rush is evidence of his commitment and adaptability to different situations. Being the only survivor from season one, his remarkable work ethic and diverse commercial endeavors have cemented his status as a tenacious and indispensable contributor in the unrelenting chase of gold. Tu is still a great asset to the show because of his unwavering dedication, especially when working with Parker Schnabel and his fans are excitedly awaiting the next installment of Du's gold mining saga. There's no doubt that during his time on the program, audiences will continue to be inspired by his zest for adventure and his steadfast pursuit of achievement for many seasons to come. Delette has repeatedly demonstrated that success is determined by more than just the amount of gold in one's possession. Rather, it is also determined by the breadth and depth of one's abilities. Perhaps most importantly, Du's enduring partnership with Parker Schnabel serves as a beacon of hope for fans worldwide in an industry fraught with uncertainty and peril. The bond forged between these two titans of mining is a testament to the power of collaboration and camaraderie together. Together, they have weathered the storms of the Alaskan wilderness, emerging stronger and more resilient with each passing. Tu's unwavering commitment to excellence, combined with his unparalleled work ethic, has earned him a place of honor among the pantheon of gold rush legends. Season.